I had the benefit of a boss who I would consider to be a very evolved young man who gave me opportunities I probably shouldn't have had. That happened very young in my career. The second aspect of that was he was a very, very tough boss and so it was difficult dealing with him personally. It gave me body armor and built a backbone that a lot of people, particularly women, early in their career don't have the opportunity to get. The best strategy to secure your first marquee customer is to talk to as many prospective customers as you possibly can about your product. And if you approach them with the idea that you want to pick their brain so that you can refine your product, people are more than willing to help. If you work with a number of companies to refine the idea and you get the idea refined enough, many of them are willing to trial it. Now you might have to do that for free, but if they're willing to trial it, then I always say, if we get the result that we expect, would you be willing to reference us? Oftentimes, if you do a good job through the pilot, they will absolutely reference you to other accounts, and that's how you get going. It is absolutely the case, in my view, that only the paranoid survive. The way we stay ahead of it is to be constantly looking in the market to see who's up and coming, what the competitive landscape looks like, interview customers and interview prospects about what they're looking for. It's about staying ahead on the innovation curve. I can tell you if you're successful, you will invite competition into your market. And if you're not careful and you don't continually innovate, you're going to not win. I spend a huge amount of my time mentoring entrepreneurs in lots of other businesses. I get such a huge amount of gratification from helping other people be successful and um, that's what I would like to be remembered for.